Hey -o, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So today I'm just gonna be uh doing some uh excavating slash terraforming for the uh, 1.8 base that we were starting to do last episode because we built the Yar from Yar's Revenge, if you remember. So I'm not gonna do anything actually that special this episode because I'm I'm basically originally made this uh, video here just to, to actually tell you guys that there this weekend there will be no uh, videos uh, any videos uh, that will be posted up this weekend because I will be gone camping with my family which is surprising because I usually always say it's for scouting but yeah it's not for scouting this time it's back it's with my family which is awesome so there will be no videos up this weekend guys expect to be to be nothing except for Oh gosh! What? We're no! What the fudge nuggets? Wow! Wow! Look at that! I suffocated in a wall, but I don't even know that was an invisible block. How stupid! So yeah, this today, uh, guys. Uh, we I'm just gonna be doing some excavating. This is where I'm gonna be uh, actually excavating going that way except for remember except for that one little tree I'm gonna have that inside the the big huge building so I'm gonna be digging out a bunch over here and and just flattening all this land or all this space to this to, to this ground level that was so stupid that was a dumb death wow there's the block that killed me it was a block of dirt wait can I why can't I put it on Oh, I'm holding this control button. Ah, I hate I hate when I do that. It's so annoying. Such a bad habit I'm into right now. Okay, that where's some that where is Oh yeah, sorry if my voice sounds a little odd because I'm actually sick right now. Right now, but I'm I'm getting better. My cough's actually starting to crack, which is good. I mean, starting to go away, so I'm pretty happy about that. Actually, can we, I want some of these blocks so I can maybe use them if I need to. So yeah, this episode, I just wanted to do some talking while I'm doing this work right here. And it's actually going to be about Minecraft 1.10. Holy cow. We're talking about this, that, this episode and some of the new things. And show you some new things. And I'm also, uh, while I'm talking about... The Pacific mob and item. I'm actually going to show a picture of it so you know what it looks like. And with the mobs, I'm going to put what they're called uh, to with the picture, too. So, uh, we should uh, just, to, just to say, first of all, that just to say first uh, about this topic is like, holy crap, they've started working on this so fast. Because they took such a long time uh, working on 1.9 right now. I'm actually using 1.9.4 because they actually made some new, uh, newer versions that fix bugs, which is awesome. I cannot wait until they fix that that uh, that glitched block. I cannot wait until they fix that. It's going to be awesome. That's very annoying. It's been very common actually lately and recently. So yeah, I, this used to be a hill right here, connected right here, and I'm tearing it down because it's in the way now, which is annoying. I mean, let's put some blocks in right there. That looks better. So yeah, uh, let's get into it, man. I'm just, I just, I'm just so shocked that they're work that or that they're already working on 1.10. It's they started on it so quick, and they just they just released 1.9 very uh, recently. It's not that old yet. It's still pretty new, fairly new. So don't expect to uh, see me uh, using and playing on 1.10 because I've been playing on the 1.9 snapshots for such a long time, and I've been di uh, waiting very patiently for the full release to come out, so I didn't have to worry about my worlds getting corrupted and all that stuff. So I'm not going to be uh, using the 1.10 snapshots for a while, probably. In not until they've actually gotten pretty far into the snapshots for 1.10. So yeah, I'm not going to be playing 1.10 for a long time because 
because I I still want to play on an actual full release of um of 1.9 because I've been wanting to play on a full release version of Minecraft for a while, so I don't have to worry about my world my world saves and stuff like that corrupting and stuff like that, and I don't want to have to think about making any more backup and backups for my worlds. So yeah, I really don't want to think about that. I want to take a little break from snapshots, so yeah. Sorry about that, guys, if you were expecting for me to, me to play on 1.10. I just want to play on a full uh, release version for a while, and I have to think about and worry about all those things. But yeah, let's actually get into the uh, details of the new up version. So let's start off with the mobs. So, um, there are three new mobs. There is the is the stray which is a new type of skeleton that has like the ripped clothing as you see and has the awesome white glowing eyes kinda like it really reminds me of Hero Brin or Hero Brian or however you want to call it or say it I say Hero Brin cause it's it's the proper way to say it um so yeah so yeah I really love that about him and what what he does for damage and attacks he's you with he uses a bow, his the bow obviously but every bow arrow they shoots is the uh, slowness arrows the potion effect arrows it's the slowness so that's going to be very annoying and us uh, and uh, hard to get by with when he's when they're attacking you and they only spawn in the uh Right now, they only spawn in the ice spiked biome. So if you want to see one, go to the ice spiked biomes. Luckily, I found one not too long ago, which is awesome. So yeah, that's the that's the stray. It's really cool. And the next new uh, mob is a is the husk. He is a different a new type of uh, zombie that spawns only in the desert biome. So luckily. And we'll get into that that stuff later until you and show you why that's there. So I actually just put this chest here because I ran a schmuck in space. And what the how'd I get a grass block? Huh. That's very weird. So I don't have any silk touch. That's maybe it's a glitch or something. I don't know. That's weird though. So the husk, <clears throat> so the husk, is, like I said, is a special type of zombie that only spawns in the desert biome. So luckily, I can uh, find him very easily in home train because I live next to a desert in the village. My village is in a desert biome, so I'll find him really easily, which is awesome. So when I get to 1.10, I can find him really quickly. So what he does for damage wise is uh, when he attacks you, he gives you hunger, like the effect that you get from eating rotten flesh. It gives it gives you hunger, which can get very annoying too. So yeah, I, I think that's really cool. And he has like some like desert looking clothing too, which looks really cool. Oh, and drop wise, uh, I don't really know in details yet, but I'm guessing right now he just uh, drops rotten flesh like the normal zombie. Oh, and I forgot one more other thing about the husk is that uh, there's a very rare chance that he'll drop the uh, slowness arrow, but it's very, very rare. So if you get it, you're very lucky. But yeah, for the husk, I'm not really sure uh, if there's any like special drops it it has yet. So yeah, that's that. And now the polar bear. So the polar bear is really awesome. It's a Passive mob and a hostile mob. So when it's passive when there's no baby cups, because there's also baby polar bear cubs now, which is really cool. There's babies now. You would I I actually tried I actually played 1.10 myself, just tried out myself. Since there was cubs, so I thought you could breed them, because when you kill them, they actually drop fish. The polar bears when you kill them. I thought you you could you use fish to breed them, but you can't actually breed them. I'm pretty sure you can't, which is odd. Actually, let's equip the shield because I'm at nighttime right now. Oh, so I hear a spider. Where is he? 
let's just continue to dig here. So yeah, uh, I thought that was really cool. So it's passive when there's no cub nearby, and when it, and there's a cub nearby, he will attack you, and he does a lot of damage. So I'd be very careful. Uh, be very careful and keep a good lookout and watch out for the uh, polar bears when you're uh, walking by in the uh, in the ice bike biome. So what if there's a cub nearby? It's also another thing that's really cool about him. The polar bear, the uh, the adult polar bear, will stand up on its hind legs, like on its feet, and attack you, which is really cool looking. And I think that's an, about it for the polar bear too. He only spawns in the ice spike biome too, just like the stray. So that's uh, what the stray. That's about. That's the same biome. The stray and the polar bear spawn in the exact same biome. I, mean, I shouldn't dig on this la layer. I should dig on the uh, on the top layer right here. So right here now. So yeah, that's with the polar bear. So that's the new mobs. I really love the new mobs. They sound awesome. I'm gonna have to. That's a new um, passive mob. I'll have to get though is the polar bear and put him in the cave once the version comes out. Oh, there's a schmuckin' skeleton. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Oh, sorry, I'm not talking, I'm focusing. Oh, is this the infinity bow? Okay, no, it's not. It's the mending one, though. Okay. So, uh, now, actually, let's go on over here and talk about the new blocks that they've added in the game. So, I'll show you the actual block, too, while I'm talking about this. So, this block is the bone block. You craft it with using bone meal, like this in the crafting table. And then you get the uh, b bone block, which you see in the picture right there. I love the texture of it. It's really smooth looking, and I love how the if I if you see the outside layers, uh, or like it's kind of it, you place it down like a like a like a like a log. So let me just get a log real quick here. So you place it down like this. It has the uh, it has the outside. It has the uh, all the uh, four other sides. It has the inner side. And what's really cool, it looks like bone marrow, like the little holes you see in between bones. It looks like the bone marrows are little air pockets and stuff like that, which is really cool. <coughs> and the next block is red nether brick, so now there's a different type of nether brick, which looks really cool. So you use nether wart, two nether wart, and two nether brick. So it's basically like how you make the coarse dirt, it's like that. And that, it's a really nice texture. It's nice and bright red, which is, looks really nice, too. And then, finally, there's the magma block, which is basically netherrack with cracks of uh, lava going seeping through it, which looks really cool. And this is how you craft it. You get four magma cream. So this is not probably not the final uh, crafting recipes for them. They could change. You never know, because they changed the boat recipe during the 1.9 snapshots. So uh, how with the uh, with the uh, magma blocks, when you walk on top of them, you take damage, and uh, uh, it gives you the amount of damage uh, as the uh, cactuses do. So half a heart, half a heart, it gives you half a heart of damage every time you uh, walk over it. And uh, the thing which this or kind of like surprised me, because I was expecting. Uh, like, when you walked over it, I was expecting for you to, like, take fire damage and catch on fire, but it actually doesn't. It's just shocking. I was expecting you to, uh, to catch on fire if you walked on over it. And also, luckily, that if you died on top while standing on, or if you died while being on top of the block, luckily your items do not catch fire and get destroyed, which is awesome. That's very lucky. So yeah, those are the new block those are all those are all the new types of blocks. And also another thing is like uh they have added some more uh they added some new uh other uh mob spawning eggs. They've added uh one specifically for donkeys so you don't have to like uh spam uh the horse egg on the uh, ground and wait to get a uh, a donkey. There's also one for spawning a mule. 
There's one for spawning a cat. Like like a tamed cat. And I know I'm missing an, another... Oh yeah, there's also spawn eggs for guardians. But I thought there already was spawning eggs for, uh, spawn eggs for guardians. But there's uh, spawn eggs for guardians now. Or no, I think it means by guardians... Yeah, because there already is a guardian spawn egg. I think it means like the... Like the boss one, yeah. They they was wanting for that. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to make path blocks. And I'm actually thinking about using some path blocks in this terrain too somewhere. Like a, a path block to my my little uh, work shack or hut or whatever uh, over here. So yeah, those are all the new features in 1.10 so far. I'm pretty excited about it, and I can't believe they've already started uh making it and doing it which is awesome though it's, it's like they haven't worked on it like that quick it's probably since like the beta days and or not beta days specifically but they haven't uh worked on a new version of minecraft right after they previously just uh put up a new version that quickly they haven't done that for a while because 1.8 and 1.9 have take took took so long to come out to the public but yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. Feels like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something else. Oh yeah, another thing. A lot of lag, man, with that lag. So, another thing is, uh, while I'm over over the weekend, I'm also going to be, when I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of off-camera stuff, and I'm actually going to be working on this, uh, terraforming off-camera, so I'm going to get a lot of this done over the, uh, over the weekend, hopefully, I get a lot of it done. If I have if I have time, I'm gonna work on this and terraform and tear everything down. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little talk we had this episode, and I will see you next time on my uh, Minecraft LP. See you later, alligators.